Thank you, Carly. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful day so far. Today's presentation is going to continue this week's theme, and it's going to be on Freegal Music, which is another wonderful music streaming platform that is available. So firstly, I'd just like to go over the topics that we're going to cover, just to give you an understanding of what we're actually going to speak about. So firstly, we're going to answer the question, what is Freegal Music, as many of you may be wondering. Then we're going to go over how it works and its functionality. Then the benefits of using the app, troubleshooting issues, and also frequently asked questions or FAQs. So to start off with what Freegal Music actually is, it is a free music app or platform that can be downloaded onto any device that you may have, including a computer, tablet, or even a smartphone. It is free and it is provided through participating public libraries in Canada, as well as the US. So if you live in either of these countries, you'll be able to access it through certain libraries. And with this service, you can stream over 15 million songs and more than 200 genres. Now I'm gonna go over how to access Freegal Music in a step-by-step -step format. So the first step is to download the app onto your particular device, whether it's a computer, tablet, or smartphone. If you have an iOS device, you want to go to the App Store. And if you have an Android device, then you will go to the Play Store. Furthermore, if you're on a Windows 10, you go to the Windows Store. And you can also visit the website, which is www.freegalmusic.com to access the platform. And once you search it up, you'll see something prompting you to click install, get, or download. And you want to make sure you have the correct app. So it's called Freegal Music, and it has this blue and white icon here. The next step once you have opened the app is to enter your zip code, city, or country. And the screenshot to the right on the screen shows you where you would type in this information. And once you've typed it in, you're gonna click on the blue continue button. Next, you must select your library from the list that appears. And if you do not see your library on the list, it is because it probably does not offer Freegal, meaning that sadly you will not be able to use the service with this particular library. So the screenshot shows a list and it's just an example of libraries in this particular user's area that offers Freegal music, such as Air Force libraries um, and even more as well. Next, you will have to enter your library card number and your PIN to ensure that you are actually using your information um, that coincides with your library. For example, this person is logging into the Vancouver Island Regional Library, and here they would type in their card number and then also their PIN, followed by clicking on the login button. After you select your participating library, you will have the option to let Freegal send you notifications, though it is your choice if you allow them to do so. And if you do not want them to send you any notifications, you can click on don't allow. So this little message will pop up on your screen and you can click whichever option is best for you. From there, you are required to enter an email address for updates on available downloads. And then after, you will click on Submit. If you don't want to receive any email reminders, then you can click on Cancel. So this is just asking you to put in your email so you can receive notifications from Freegal, whether it's on new updates or other information. But if you don't want any extra emails in your inbox, simply click on cancel, which is located right here.
Next, you will be taken to the homepage of Freegal Music. And this is where you are able to search, download, and stream any song onto your device. And when I say any song, I mean, truly, there are so many different songs on Freegal. So you can just search it up if you have a particular song in mind, or you can also browse, all of which I will also show in the live demonstration at the end of the presentation. Now we're going to go over the app's features. So firstly, the home page, which will show you featured playlists and also albums, recently played music, and even your wish list. There's also the browse tab, which allows you to explore the top playlists and songs that are uh, most recommended or most listened to during that particular time period. You can also use the search tab in order to search for specific music or an artist, or you can go to your downloaded music by going to the My Music tab. So all of these tabs are located at the bottom of the screen, and it's sort of like a bottom menu bar where you can navigate the app. So there's the home, which is in the shape of a pentagon, the browse tab, which is a music note. You can search by clicking on this magnifying glass or go to my music to see what you have already downloaded. Next, we will discuss playing and also saving music on Freegal. In order to stream a song, you can just press the play button. And to save it to your device, you want to click on the download icon. So for example, if you were looking into these songs here, you could just click on this button here to click on it and then it will play. So you may be wondering what the benefits of Freegal Music are, and there are quite a few. Firstly, it is a free service and it also has a very wide range of music selection with so many different genres and it definitely suits many different interests. Also, the app can be downloaded onto any mobile device, whether it's Android or Apple, and also any other compatible devices can also be used, such as Windows or Mac. You can download the songs from Freegal for your own personal use, and after the song has been downloaded, you can stream the song without Wi-Fi or data, meaning you can use it if you're not connected to the internet. For example, if you're traveling or if you're away from your home and you don't have an internet connection. Though there are many benefits, there are also some cons of Freegal. So if you do have an Apple device and it crash crashes, sorry, unfortunately, all of the songs could be deleted and you may have to re-download all of them and restart using Freegal. If you would like to stream your songs on a library computer, then you must save the songs into a USB key. Also, there are some songs and artists that are not provided by Freegal. And lastly, if you live within Canada, there are for sure fewer libraries that are participating in this program, meaning you may not be able to access Regal with the library that you use. Next, I'm gonna go over some frequently asked questions that people have about Freegal. Firstly, how much music is on Freegal Music's website? So the answer to this is that it changes each day. But it is definitely safe to say that there are thousands of artists and tens of thousands of albums and millions of songs available for people to listen to. The website has hundreds of genres of music, so it definitely suits many different interests. And the content is based upon agreements with over 28,000 music labels, and this includes Sony Music Entertainment. Another question is, what is the difference between streaming and downloading, which is for sure an important thing to understand. So firstly, downloading is capturing and keeping the file on a permanent basis, while streaming is accessing the file on a temporary basis while being connected to the internet. So if you're streaming, it gives you access to more music and your daily streaming limit is posted in the upper right hand corner of the homepage. A third question is, how do I know if my library has this streaming service? 
So if you're on a desktop computer, you will see a streaming timer at the top of your web page to the left hand side of the search bar. If you are using a mobile device, you will find this streaming timer under settings, which you can access in the top right hand corner by going to the three dots. If you don't see the streaming timer, then your library has a download only contract, meaning you will have to download the songs in order to listen to them. Another question that many people ask is, how do I download a song onto my computer? Once you have found a song that you want to listen to, you can click on the download link next to your chosen song. At the prompt, select save and choose where you want to save the song. An important note is that anytime you click on the download link, even if you decide to cancel or play it, the download will count towards your weekly allotment, meaning you do have a limit each week. So be careful as to which songs you're downloading and make sure that they're ones that you want to listen to so you don't waste this limited amount of songs you have. Another question is, can I download an entire album? The songs are sadly only available on an individual basis, meaning that over time you can choose to download all the songs in an album, but you can't do it in kind of a mass download all at once. Another question is how do I delete a song off of my mobile device? If you go to the My Music section of the app, you will see a list of songs that you have downloaded onto your device. And if you tap on the options menu next to each song selection, which is the three dots icon, you will then see the option to remove the song. This method works the same with playlists, music vid videos, and also audiobooks. So you can remove any of those from your downloads whenever you would like to. There are also some great alternatives. So if you can't access Freegal through your local library, you can go to other websites, apps, or platforms where you can access free music as well. For example, YouTube Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio are all wonderful alternatives as well. So now we will go into a live demo of Freegal Music. So sadly, I do not have Freegal Music with the library in my area. So I will quickly exit out and we can go to the website and we won't be able to play any music since I don't have the account or the subscription, but we can still navigate through it together. So in order to get to the site, I'm gonna type in Freegal Music. And then you can click on the first one that pops up and this will take you directly to the, directly to the home page. And from here, there are many featured categories available for you to browse through, starting with featured playlists, featured songs, albums, music videos, audiobooks, artists, and that is the bottom of the homepage. So this is a wonderful way to browse through the site, just going to some popular artists, songs, etc., to find things that other people are interested in if you're not quite sure what you want to listen to or watch. And you can always go to view all. It's a little bit small, but it's in the top hand corner. And you can go to view all to see all of the featured songs, um, which there are very, very many. So you can always go into a further dive by clicking view all. Um, then if we go to an actual album, for example, if we were interested in this particular album called The Storm Before the Calm, we can see all of the different songs included in the album and some additional information, such as the artist, the name of the song, and the duration of the song as well. And because I'm not logged in, I won't be able to actually listen to it, but you would typically be able to click on any song and it would start playing for you as long as you do have um, your account information put into the site or into the application. Now, another great way to browse is by going to this browse section, which is on the left hand side. And here you can see the top playlists, top songs. It's very similar to the homepage, um, but these are 
some more options that you can look through as well. Furthermore, you can browse or make a more defined search by going to the search bar in the top right hand corner. So if you have a particular artist in mind or a song, you can just type it in there and then click enter on your keyboard. So if we wanted to listen to the Beatles, then it'll show some songs called the Beatles. <laughs> um, and then we can just click on them to listen. Again, I'm not able to listen to them because I'm not logged in. And you can really search anything. They may not appear just because they don't have all songs and artists, but hopefully you will find something that you want to listen to. Then another important thing is the login. And this is located in the top right hand corner and it's a blue button. And I would click on it here. And from there, I would just put in all of my information and you would have to put in your library or branch. Um, zip code, city, state, or country below. And then you'll be able to put in your library card number and all of that other information that will allow you to have access to Freegal Music. So remember, if you do have this accessibility, make sure you log in so that you can actually listen to the music. And finally, um, I'd like to show you how to find the Frequently Asked Questions section or the FAQ. And you can do this by going to the top right hand corner beside the login button to the three dots. And from there, we are in the settings section. We can look into the terms and conditions of Frigo Music if we want to, or you can just go to FAQ. And there are lots of different sections available for questions, whether it's general, technical, mobile apps, and even more. And you can just read through these questions and click on them if you want to find an answer. So if we asked, how does the recent downloads functionality work? We would be told the answer for both the desktop and mobile version just below. And that does conclude our live demo. I do wanna mention that Freegal Music will look different on computers versus the app on a mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet. And also there will be differences between being logged in and not logged in, but the functionality is quite similar. Um, and if you need more help, then we can always provide that for you. And finally, I just wanna say thank you so much for listening and joining today. And if you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, you can always go to our website or call our phone number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time every Thursday, and everyone is welcome to join. And finally, if you would like to donate to Cyber Seniors, you can go to the donation website by clicking on the link below once you receive a copy of the presentation.